Welcome to Evangelistic Outreach Ministries. The fields are white, all ready to harvest. Oh, For over half a century, the Evangelistic Outreach team has traveled across the street, about the nation, and around the world with the gospel message. We're dedicated to the vision of our late founder, Dr. Calvin Evans, to reach the unreached for Jesus Christ. May the love of Christ touch you, and may His Word teach you today on Evangelistic Outreach. We're so thankful that you joined us today on Evangelistic Outreach Ministries, and we're going to be sharing with you messages and highlights from this month's free gift offer entitled Worthy. We'll tell you more about that in just a little bit, but God certainly gave us a tremendous spring jubilee. Uh, we heard from so many of you from last month's uh, gift offer entitled Hallelujah that we share with you singing. And this month, it's all about the Word of God and about preaching. So we'll give you more details here in just a little bit. But would you pray with us and ask God to bless the broadcast today? Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness to us. We thank you for your mercy and your grace and how you've been blessing us in recent days and weeks and special meetings and camp meetings, not only what we, where we've been able to preach and minister, but also here in the near future. We'll be going to Willisburg, Ohio for the tremendous Christian Baptist camp meeting, and we'll also have special revivals coming up in Northern Ohio. And Lord, as we prepare for those, prepare our hearts for those, I ask that you would anoint and also send a great revival in this nation. We needed, we've needed you like we never needed you before. And Lord, we know that you're gonna do all that you can and help us to do what we're able to do and let you do the miraculous. Bless this program today. We pray bless the word of God that was preached from the Jubilee and may it touch someone's heart today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Oh, so are you weary and troubled? No light in the darkness you see. There's light for a look at the Savior And life more abundant and free Oh, turn your eyes upon Jesus Look full in His wonderful face of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. Through death into life everlasting He passed and we followed fail you he promised believe him and all will be well then go to a world that is dying his perfect salvation to tell Oh, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in His wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of 
of His glory and grace. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. Before we get into the message today, I wanted to share with you more details about this month's free gift offer entitled Worthy. Uh, last month we featured nothing but singing from the Spring Jubilee, and this month it's nothing but preaching. And we also sprinkled in a few songs in between the messages, uh, but we wanted to share with you the sermons from the Spring Jubilee. In fact, we had a tremendous camp meeting that uh, there was just a couple of nights where uh, not a lot of preaching was needed. The Lord was moving in such a special way. But we have four sermons that we will put on this DVD and also uh, some singing as well. But on the CD, it's only the sermons. That's the amount of time we had available to put on the CD. So you only get the preaching on the CD, but on the DVD, you also receive some songs uh, as well. So uh, these messages are in uh, included actually in this gift offer from Calvin Ray Evans entitled Chosen Vessels, one that I was able to preach on how much is he worth to you, and then a powerful message from Jacob Berry on the process of adoption, and then Mike Blanton Evans finishing out the meeting, and my how the Lord blessed him, who is Jesus. These four messages, again, are compiled into one DVD, one audio CD, and we're calling this gift offer worthy. If you would like to receive it, please uh, contact us this week. You can do that one of three ways. You can always call our ministry office at 800-767-8713. Visit our website at calvinevans.org and there is a form there that you can fill out that will come right to us. Or you can always write to us and request it and we would love to hear from you. Our mailing address 299 Ohio Avenue, New Boston, Ohio 45662. Be much in prayer about how you can maybe send in a special offering these summer months as we are finishing out the summer. Uh, it is very difficult on ministries of faith. Uh, we realize that uh, many people go on vacation, a lot of busy travel time and uh, so uh, in response to that and as, as a result of that, a lot of the giving in the summer months is down and we've been feeling the effects of that. And so if you would like to help this ministry, we would sincerely appreciate that. We don't spend a lot of time talking about finances. God is our strength, He's our help, and He'll provide every need according to His riches and glory, but He'll use you to do that. So I pray about what you can do to send in a special offering to help us uh, these summer months. Again, we thank you for all that you do for us. There's simply no way that we have in this short amount of time possible to tell you how much we love and appreciate you. But we'll continue to do what we've always done, and that's share the gospel message of Christ through the preaching of the Word of God. So let's go into some messages from this month's free gift offer entitled Worthy. David in his Psalms made a statement that's an odd statement. In Psalm 31 12, he said, I am like a broken vessel. Now, a broken vessel, we will look at it for any of you that have, I know there's a number of folks here tonight that I've been privileged to uh, go to the Holy Land with Karen and them. I know they've been there on trips. I don't know if you've ever got to go down to Hebron to the potter's shop. It's a fascinating place. Now I think no one even goes there with all the unrest. But uh, Hebron, meaning fellowship, that's where a lot of the potter shops were. They believe uh, that was the potters that, uh, that were out of the same family that Jeremiah went to their family because of their family heritage and the way they passed that trade down. But long story short, uh, you can watch them make those pots and you can watch them uh, mold them and they'll even let people in your group, uh, I can remember, some of you here tonight can remember, uh, it looked so easy, didn't it? And I see Carol nodding her head. And then she had two, they had two or three of them come put their hands on the pot while he was spinning the clay on the pot, trying to mold it. 
And it's not as easy as it looks. But yet they, they mold that. And through that conversation, you know, we're talking about they, they fire it, put it in a kiln, extreme heat, take it out, and it's hardened when it cools. And then it's useful. But then when a vessel gets a crack in it, if you have a crack in it, you don't want a bucket with a hole in the bottom. It's not that it's useless. You can still carry water, but you're going to lose three quarters of it before you get to the plant. You want the hole fixed. Well, see, that's the problem with a clay vessel that's hardened already. You think that, that this is what I ask. I asked the potter, I said, why don't you just put some clay on it, put it back in, fire it again? He said, you don't understand, it won't bond. The clay won't bond. When you take clay in its original state and you just put it on hardened clay on a vessel, it, it won't bond to it. But now, this is what I did find out. They don't know why that it works. That's what they'll tell you. They don't know why it works. But they can take that same clay that won't bond to that crack and they can go to a shepherd and ask the shepherd to pull ticks off the sheep. They take the ticks and they squeeze the ticks until a drop or two of blood drips down on the clay. They then feel the crack with the clay in the blood. Put it back in the fire. And you know the amazing thing, I asked them, I said, you, you know that's great that you all know all of this, but I notice around here, anyone that's ever fired any vessel, you know good and well that when you fire the vessel, there's timers on it. They'll set timers for certain temperatures, but there's no timers. And I, I said, I don't know how you know when that it's okay to bring the vessel out. And the old potter said this. This was his words exactly. He said, you hang around here a little while, you'll find out when to take it out. He said, we don't know exactly what's in that blood, but when that blood is in the heat of that, he said, all we have to do is listen. And he said, if we listen real close, that blood will begin to sizzle. And before long, when the blood begins to sizzle in the, in the crack or to feel the fault, said pretty soon, the pot begins to sing. And he said, all you have to do is leave the pot in the fire until it starts singing. And when you bring it out and you cool it, then it's better than it ever was. Can I tell you, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people here tonight that you've been broken. All kinds of things in life can break us, but the truth of the matter is, when his blood is applied to this clay and you go through the fire, you'll come out as pure gold. And he says, broken people can sing again. I felt so moved by the spirit of God tonight. Well, they were singing, ain't no grave gonna hold this body down. I left the pulpit and I went over to my preacher brother in a wheelchair and I said, don't that sound good? Amen. Came back over to Karen. She stopped with her treatments and I told Candy at just the end of last week, I said, you watch. If Karen and Fred, if they have to crawl, they'll be there in that meeting. And here she is not able to take treatments, been so sick, and here she is in a wheelchair tonight. Her body is broken. Had to go by Jacob. He's got a broken body, but I think he does good. Had to go back and see my friend Jack back there. He's been shut in the nursing facility for months and months in assisted living. I always called him my base man at church, and Jack's here tonight. He might be broken, but thank God, uh, we're not gonna be broken forever. Then I had to make my way around to several others in wheelchairs. Came back around to Linda Purcell. She's in a bed here tonight. They brought her in a bed. Looks like by an ambulance maybe or carrier. Hadn't been able to go to church since November and said, I just wanna go to church. I'm telling you, these bodies get broken. But can I remind you, they're not gonna be broken forever. One day, they'll plant them on a hillside and the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Yeah. 
You ought to be shouting right now. I said, you ought to be shouting right now. Hey, I can't help it when I'm in a casket, but I'm sure not going to be dead while I'm in church. I don't care if I can only get a finger up. I'll raise it for the glory of God. I'm telling you, life is too short not to enjoy this journey. God has blessed us and helped us, and we've got a right to sing to the Lord. And let me tell you this, how long you're gonna be in the fire till you start singing? You say, I don't feel like, you show me one verse of scripture that says, when you feel like it, praise me. One, you show me one. I'll show you dozens and dozens that'll teach you let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. There's only one group that has permission not to praise God. The Bible says the dead praise not the Lord. If you're here, if you're alive, if you're breathing, you ought to say thank God. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I've been saved. I've been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. to be kidding me. That's all you got? After he's done all that he's done for you? I'm telling you, we're not going to be in this body forever. Our day of redemption will come. The only one running is in a wheelchair. What's wrong with that picture? Let let me put it this way. Jesus sits down with his disciples in Matthew 26. And in Matthew 26, he takes the bread and said, this is my body which is broken for you. Then he takes the cup and he hands them the cup and says, This is the New Testament in my blood, which I have given for the remission of sins. So he's telling them, I'm going to the cross. My body will be broken. My blood will be sacrificed for the remission of your sins, not my sins, your sins. Matthew 26, 30, immediately they sang a hymn. and went out to the Mount of Olives. You didn't get that. He just said, I'm gonna be crucified, I'm gonna be tortured, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna go through excruciating pain, I'm gonna give my lifeblood to save your soul. And he said, let's sing a song. I think what the devil has done successfully, he took the song of so many people. I'm not saying your problems aren't real. We've all got problems. Some of you here tonight, I know who I'm preaching to because the Spirit of God bore my heart record. I'm preaching tonight to some broken people. Broken pastors and pastors' wives. That your heart's been broken. Church leaders, that your heart's been broken. People in ministry, that your heart's broken. Christians, that your heart's broken. Situations you don't have control over. Things that you can't change and you know it needs to change. And you're broken. You're broken. That don't have to take your soul. Have you ever had anyone turn on you? Have you ever had someone that you trusted steal from you? 
Have you ever had those that you mentored or trained run from you? Have you ever had those that you have poured the best that you have into them and see them abuse that? We've all experienced those things. Well, why does God let us be broken? Why did Jesus sing a song? Because it takes a broken man to mend a broken person. And I don't care what you're broken from. He's already felt it. He's already experienced it. He's already been through it. And he says, I am nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save as such as be of a contrite spirit. Jesus knows your struggles. He knows your trials. And he wants to bind up the brokenhearted. Some of you have had situations that broke you years ago and you're still not over it. Don't go to your grave with that. Don't do that. You can't help what others do, but you can help what you do. And as we come to a close today, I hope you've been challenged by the message and may the presence of the Lord have stirred your heart and touched you in a special way. And I pray you get help because I believe sometimes we just need help that can only come from the Lord and we want to be a blessing to you. One thing you could do to help us, it would be a great help. Would you tell others about Evangelistic Outreach? Encourage them to tune into the program each week. We promise to do our best to bring you the Word of God and share the truth from God's Word as we endeavor to reach out to those that do not know the Lord and to see those that are Christians discipled through the teaching and preaching of God's Word. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for supporting us. Spread the news about the ministry. Until next week at this same time, may God bless you and yours as our prayer. We read of a place that's called heaven. It's made for the pure and the free. These truths in God's word he has given. How beautiful heaven must be. In heaven no drooping nor pining, no wishing God's light is forever there shining. How beautiful heaven must be. How beautiful heaven must be. Sweet home of the happy and free. Fair haven of rest for the weary. How beautiful heaven must be.
And all who will drink may be free. Rare jewels of splendor are glowing. How beautiful heaven must be. So sweetly are singing Up there by the beautiful sea Sweet chords from their gold harps are ringing Beautiful heaven must be. How beautiful heaven must be. Sweet home of the happy and free. For the weary How beautiful heaven must be Thank you for joining us today on Evangelistic Outreach Ministries. The fields are white, all ready to harvest. For more information about this ministry, contact us at Evangelistic Outreach Ministries, 299 Ohio Avenue, New Boston, Ohio, 45662, or toll free at 800-767-8713. You can also visit us online at calvinevans.org.